a team will pick you, you won't pick it. And when I saw Celtic, and I saw the hoops and the shamrock, and I was like, well, what's this? This could be, this seems really interesting. And given that my mother's family had emigrated to Canada from Ireland generations ago, and then the same difficulties that sent families like mine away from Ireland to the New World, also sent a, a section of Ireland up to Glasgow. You know, the fact that Celtic's born from the potato family and that my family was greatly affected by that, it seemed pretty, uh, pretty clear that this is who I was supposed to root for. I went to a tattoo parlor and so he's like, so how big? I said, how about here? He's like, are, are, are you sure? Whenever somebody asks me if I know what I'm doing, my fragile male ego kicks in and, uh, and rather than be like, oh, you know what? You're right. Maybe it should be a bit smaller. I was like, what? No, bigger. And now I have basically an Irish uh, Yakuza tattoo on my arm. <laughs> I introduced Jay to hurling, the Irish version of hockey. Batman! But it was never meant to be played in the snowy streets of Montreal. <laughs> we got into a really great conversation about Irish heritage and what Celtic means to me and him. And I guess that sparked something in the food processor that is his brain. And he asked me, have you ever been to see Celtic play? And I said, no. And he said, well, maybe we could go see them. And on the way, explore my Irish roots. <laughs> That's your map of Canada. <laughs> Yours looks like a chicken nugget. A road trip. From Montreal to Dublin. Across the Galway for a hurling game. Up the coast to Westport, where my family comes from. Then over to Larne for a ferry ride to Scotland. Up to Glasgow. Then Lennox Town to watch Celtic train. And finally, Paradise. Paradise. That seems like a plan to me. Yes, it does. I'll see you in hell. Put it there.